What's up, y'all? Shieldhouse here. Welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 04 career. Today, it's the final race of season two. I can't believe we've been through two seasons already. Ah, feels like only yesterday we started this team and DNF'd 400 times. Well, let's get down to business. Tony Stewart has this championship all but locked up over Kevin Harvick and Ricky Rudd. It has just been a disastrous, I don't know, last seven, eight races for Rudd. He's absolutely falling apart, and uh, Tony Stewart's pretty much on easy street to win the championship. Harvick takes over second, Rudd's down to third. Dale Jr.'s in fourth, Mark Martin's in fifth. Dale Jarrett sixth, Brian Newman in seventh, Jeff Gordon, Bobby Labonte, and Jimmy Johnson round out the top 10. Let's find us down in 30th. Two points ahead of Jeff Green. The season goal was 30th in points, or better. We just have to beat Jeff Green. Oof, two points. Nerve-wracking. Let's check in on our sponsors. Haven't looked at them in a little while. Uh, almost halfway through the current contract with them. And uh, things are going pretty well. They're happy with Kroger. 64-66 prestige and happiness. Motorola is a 64-78. They're super happy. That that's because I win the pole every race. The Glenn.com is pretty happy, 67-64, because we're usually finishing ahead of Joe Nemechek. Then NASCAR.com, they're pretty happy. So is Food City, both 66-60. But 10 races left on this contract. We want to push that prestige up into the 70s and get some really good deals the next time we're ready for some sponsors. Last piece of housekeeping before we get to the race. One more race on this shop upgrade the engine balancer plus 10 engine efficient, uh, efficiency, then we can start getting better fuel mileage when we start redoing our engines. That'll be a season three pursuit, but uh, it'll be good to get that done. It'll come in after Homestead's complete and we'll have that for season three. But let's put together the best thing we can for Homestead. We had a really good run here in season one. So we'll take the best things we got. Chassis nine, 67, 66. That's that premium build. Uh, we're going to use it here instead of Daytona. I think the, the tire grip and tire wear will be more important and help us more here than it will at Daytona. Engine side, we've got plenty of options, but this is our Daytona motor. So we'll use the next best thing. Fresh motor, 62-63. And in the body shop, this is our Daytona body. So we'll take body 7, 62-59. That's nice. That is a car rating of a 64. That's about as high as we've ever had one. Let's head to the track and see how we do. This car is very good. It is very good. Uh, I had to play with the setup a lot to actually get it to do what I wanted it to do. But once I hit on it, oh my God. This is, this is a very good race car. Uh, we were P2 in practice. I was running all over this racetrack. High, low, didn't matter. We had such a good run in season one at this track, but the setup had a lot of room for improvement. This is this is going to be a fun race car to drive in this race, I think. I don't think we're going to have the the Rockingham curse. B5 on lap one. Yeah, this thing's just easy sailing. Plenty of straight line speed, good cornering speed, can run high, can run low. Top dog, man. Awesome run. Cap off the season with our 19th pole. 19. We won pole in over half the races this year. That is just obscene. And of course, a new personal best. Welcome to the Homestead Miami Speedway for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the Ford 400. I'm here with Barney Hall. NASCAR ran its first race here in 1999. What do you think of this track? Well, Joe, this track has changed a lot this year. It's still wide, but they've added banking to the turns. Used to be very flat here, so these drivers probably will spend the first few laps getting accustomed to the new design. The 64 car hasn't made much of a move in the points so far. And of course, Bullshit. To be on the bottom of that points list. I'm 30th. It's hard to pick up spots. Not oh my lord. Not easy to dig yourself out of a hole in this series. 
Kenny Wallace is having some trouble in the points this year. Yeah, those guys have been working so hard this year. It's a shame it doesn't really show in points. Just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. Maybe their luck will change today. here we go to finish up season two 19 poles this year that is wild Ooh, look at that render good looking right, here we go 66 laps should be a one-stop race should be I think maybe not but I believe it's a one-stop race in a perfect world I'm not sure if we can go 33 laps. Maybe it's a two stopper and we stop every 22. Number 24. In any event, see you, Jeff. You're clear. We're going to take the lead back in three and four and drive away. Lead the first lap here at Homestead. Yeah. That's five big bonus points, too, in that fight for 30 with Steve. We need it. Got one down low. There's your uh, soon to be crowned champion, Tony Stewart. Congrats on a great season, Smoke. Hold your line. You're still there. Well, I ain't just going to roll over for you. You're still there. Still there. This car rolls the top really nicely. Kind of impressive. That's not really a thing in this game. But it, it can roll around up here just fine. It's not quite, you know, the, the Reddick line, but it works. Man, Stewart is fast. He's so damn fast. No wonder he's going to win this championship. He's just otherworldly. Like, I, I can't hang with him, and I'm pulling away from the guys behind me. So, yeah. GG's Tony. Probably going to win the race and the championship. That's always good to see. But... Keep the tires in good shape. We're uh, we're just hanging out, running strong in second. Is that Ricky Rudd taking over P3 in my mirror? Well, Ricky, too little, too late, my man. Well, Stewart's starting to stretch that lead. It's over two You're seconds right now. now. Um, Rudd's starting field. to catch me. We're halfway on fuel, so that tells me it's a two stopper, uh, which is great. So we can stop at lap 22. And then lap 44, go to the end. Now, I don't think we're going to win this race. We probably won't finish second, but we, we might get our first podium. I don't know. Depends on how good these tires hold up as we get into the last, you know, third of this run. They don't fall off too bad, and I don't fuck up on pit road. We might be okay. Hey, Ricky. How you doing, man? Probably not too good knowing you really let this championship get away late in the season. They could figure out the last... Oh, shit. Okay. What the fuck was that? I, I don't know what that was. I didn't like it. Well, after all that, we're now seventh. I don't know what the fuck just happened. And it tried to wreck. I mean, we, I've been getting tighter and tighter as the tires have been wearing. So I don't understand why it just tried to spin out, but I'm glad we caught it. We're going to pit uh, next lap. All right, here we come.
Oh. oh, brother, this guy stinks! Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Fuck. The double doink. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Look away. Look away from the screen. God. Oh, I hate when I do stupid shit. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> I mean, I can. Because it's not the first time I've done it. But damn. That was a bad time to do it. About four tires and fuel. No changes. The car's good. Uh, fix the damage. Can I go? Thank you. Unreal. Wow, we have just shipped off positions left and right. We're now 15th. I remember when we were second. Number 30 is right behind you. All right, well, we'll buckle down. We're still going to pit at lap uh, 44 or so, I think. Maybe 45 since we gained a couple of laps by pitting under yellow. Um, we'll just buckle down and pass these guys. We, we know we got a good enough car to pass them. Four, just got to go out and do it. Back. Elliot, stop blocking. This is between Fine, y'all want to block the bottom? I'll go around the top. That's another number. Still there. I told y'all this thing can run the wall. All right, Jeremy, just block me to the wall. That's cool, too, I guess. All right, here we go. Sterling, fuck off. Golly. These guys are such jerks. Y'all need a long off-season to rethink how you race me. Hey, Jeff. Yep, move down and block me. Thanks, Jeff. Is looking right. Wh which which lane are you gonna run, Jeff? Fucking pick one. No one outside. The 17 car. There, we the fixed box. it. Hey, Matt. You're clear. Minus 60, huh? You want to talk about it? You know you're my favorite driver, Matt. I I I just I hate the fact that we're rivals. You are literally my favorite NASCAR driver. You did such a good job in the booth that for Fox for the Fontana race. Like, is trying I'm coming out to Nashville in July to watch you do SRX. Can we stop being rivals, please? He's gonna make passing tough on you. Way to get ready, buddy. The leader's put about five seconds on you. Made it to the halfway mark. Contact with Buck. Ah. I should have known better. I should have known better. Got to keep the tires in good shape to be fast. Oh, Ward hit his brother hard. I should have known better than to try that shit. Not happy about that. Could I have been more patient? Yeah, but you know, these guys never give me any fucking room. Like, they just hang and yeah, I can't get into the corners like they can. I try and float it to the bottom and it just moves up and then we get stuck together. All right, fix it. Let's go. We'll have fresh tires at least. Looks like we were the only car on pit road during that entire caution. Wow, you, that you notice that all on your own? Good for you. Okay, well, they're gonna have to pit. I'm gonna have to pit. So it's still a one-stop race from here for all of us. The difference is I got fresh rubber, but I'm in traffic with a bunch of assholes. They don't give me any room. Here they come pitting. 27 car is gaining on you. All love it. I love when they pit right after a caution. That's just genius. So this is their last stop. And Number 31. I'll have to stop at some point later in the race. Easy now. But need some of that grip later. this will cycle us out to the lead for a little while. I mean, damn, Schrader. Oh, we're like four wide. Fuck that. Okay, we're clear. 
That was gonna be a wreck if I tried to force Number that. Oh yeah! Three wide. All right, we got enough motor to clear them here. Number one. We are rolling right now. Um, yeah, we're just rolling. I'll roll the top. I don't really give a shit if I wear these tires out. We have to pit one more time so I can drive as hard as I need to. Look at that. Nice job. Is that Kyle Larson? Jesus Christ. That's David Sheldells. Yeah, I bet he is. Matt, we've worked on our relationship a little bit. Last time we tried this, I ended up wrecking. Um, so... I'm just going to do that little top to bottom. A little two for one. Maybe. Uh, it was good enough. Sweet. Still there. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. You should be about halfway on fuel. We're in the top ten. Still beside you. I, I, I don't have time to waste, y'all. I got fresh tires. I got to go. <laughs> I have got to go. Hey, Jeff. Yeah, I know you're not happy about earlier. I'm not happy about earlier, to be honest with you. So, let's just, uh, just let bygones be bygones. What do you say? I just pass and clean up the inside here. Thanks, Jeff. Enjoy the rest of your NASCAR event. There we go. There's the sign. We're going to be pitting too, and I'm not going to fuck it up this time. Ricky's going to stay out. All right, here we go. Easy, buddy. That left front tire's seen some action. Well, I guess it worked. I didn't speed. <laughs> I guess that's what I get for stopping on track, but... Uh, I, was, I thought I was going to get speeding penalty. That was my biggest fear was we were going to get speeding. So I'll take a second of damage over a five-second speeding penalty. <laughs> Pit Road's been an adventure today, that's for sure. All right, let's go. That was a clean stop. Hey, Mikey, sorry about the whole pit road thing. The one car is inside. I know, that was a little awkward. They're on both sides. But, um, I, I guess it worked out okay, right? Uh, it seems we've cycled out into 14th or so. Um, could have been worse. Could have been better. But, Take it easy oh, on those man. Tires. Ah, uh, with all the damage I picked up from these wrecks, the car just, you know, definitely doesn't drive the same as it did at the start of the race. Um, but still pretty damn good. Excuse me, Sterling. I gotta follow Dale here. Thanks. It's gonna be two laps to go. We are starting to catch. I think that group that pitted early on the restart, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to him and pass him. But uh, a couple more laps, probably get a few more spots. Um, so I don't know what the right strategy was. I probably should have pitted sooner to get out of traffic and undercut. But last lap of the season. Pretty good run at Homestead, I would say. You know, definitely some mistakes for me that cost us more. Could have been a lot more. But I'm still proud of the effort. Let's see if we can get a spot or two here. Bobby, I'm sending it. It's the last lap of the season, brother. Hold it steady. Three wide. That's another Durante Bear. All right, we're finishing with the top 10. There you go. That's what we like to see. What a good year. I'll take a top 10 to end it. Let's go. Yeah. Kevin Harvick gets the win. Rudd finishes third. Stewart finishes seventh. Tony Stewart will be your champion. We usually have more cautions. A fairly clean run to wrap up the season. Robbie's still a little upset, but look at that. Matt Kenseth minus 38. All right. I feel better now. 
So Kevin Harvick gets the win by four and a half seconds over Dale Jarrett. He must have had a hell of a pit stop or maybe he was part of the early pitting strategy. I don't really know. Maybe that's what all these guys were. Tough to say. I, I didn't pay that close of attention, but somehow Stewart finished a seventh. Probably strategy. Probably the right strategy that I didn't do. Uh, we finished tenth after starting on pole. We did lead a lap, so that's cool. And on the money side, it's a good money day. This race pays really well. I always forget that. And we are going to end the season with about a half a million dollars. <laughs> that puts a smile on my face for sure. All the sponsors are happy. Everybody's happy. Nice. We know we finished in the top 30 in points. Now we're going to ratchet that up to finish in the top 20 in points in season three. Do you think we can do it? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you have to say about that. Today's race at Homestead. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up on it and get ready for the off season and then season three to kick off not too long after that. I will be streaming later tonight on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash shieldhouse. Uh, it's going to be the iRacing Road to Pro Series, open setup trucks at Atlanta. This is the qualifying series to get into the Coke Series. So come and check it out. If you haven't seen a live stream of mine, I'd love to see you there. That should kick off about 8.30 or so, maybe a little bit earlier. But uh, that'll be linked down in the video description and in the pinned comment. You can always follow me on Twitter and join my community Discord as well. All that's linked down below. Love to see you around more often, so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it already. And as always, thanks for all the support throughout Season 2. We made some big, big strides. Very proud. I hope you're enjoying this series as a whole. I know I am. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you in the next one for the off-season wrap-up for Season 2.